my creatures, by please get a rapturous, delicious Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading. It's going to be for Gemini, something amazing. And Venus, we are taking a look at your general energy vibe check and love. We're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's out, who's in, and who's getting deleted from the database. <laughs> oh, Gemini, Gemini. I love you so much, my baby. You are looking so scrumptious. So scrumptious, my baby. So happy to see you. All right, let's see. Let's see who's uh, for the chop today. Please show me angels what's happening for Gemini. Somebody was really pursued. So you've got somebody who's like in hot pursuit of you, but there's something about that person. This is your recent energy, recent past. I think they're still around you. Or there's like a message pending from somebody here. But there is uh, a lack of clarity about their intentions here. The moon, Gemini, my boo-boo. You weren't sure about this person. You were like, mm, I don't know about this one. They were like so hot on it, hot for it, took so long. They really want you. Or maybe if you feel like they weren't pursuing you that much, like they really want you. Like they're really into, they think you are scrumptious. You got the Ace of Pentacles right next to uh, the moon. So it is someone who's coming at you with um, some kind of an offer or gift. Some, somebody who wants to have a big, big beginning here. I think it's a new energy uh, for others of you. It might be somebody coming with an apology in the, uh, the recent past. Uh, where you're just like not sure, like, mm, I don't know if that person uh, deserves my forgiveness. Okay, we'll see what the um, what the doubts are regarding here, my boo -boo. Also, Gemini, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm, Gemini, I love you so much. I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, but I got the Gemini lifestyle. I, I don't know. I, I live as a Gemini. Let me, let me just say that. And I mean, I live as a Scorpio because I'm all Scorpio, but I'm also kind of a Gemini. I don't know why. Uh, and I love you so much for that. Also, Gemini, look at my look at my skin. I got I was out all day and I got so much sunburn. It was insane. Like the sun wasn't even that intense. I don't know what happened, but it happened. So. <laughs> Ah, but Bill, this is real. This channel is super real. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm doing a live tonight. It might be a daytime for you. It's going to be 1 p.m. Pacific time uh, on Friday. Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time, St. Patrick's Day. And then Saturday and Sunday, same time. I'll also be doing the live. We're doing love tarot. We're taking questions, PayPal questions, gossiping about love, gossiping about boys. All right, so join me, but Bill, because it's going to be juicy gossip. All right. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you weren't sure if this person is stable. This person could still be in your energy. You're just not sure if they're stable. You're not sure if they're reliable. You're like, are you just like in this for the fun, for the whatever? You don't want to get your heart broken, Gemini. Look, three of swords, I get it. You don't want to get your heart broken. Mommy won't let that happen. It's okay, Gemini. Let's see what's uh, the current energy. But that person's still thinking of... Even if you're not talking to them right now, I feel like that person that you weren't sure about is definitely thinking about you. But I think they are in your energy. You're just trying to figure out what is going on here. Let's see. Uh, Bip Bill. Gemini energy in the magician. Yeah, you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to make a decision. You're working through the, the situation, the information. You're working through your options as well. Three of Wands, but you're keeping your options open, Gemini, because you really don't want to get your heart broken. Let's see what the advice is on this, keeping your options open here. You're also being a little bit mysterious yourself. You're trying to take control of the situation here because, yeah, you don't want some douche food to come into your life and turn it upside down and make you feel a certain way. I get it, but Bill. It's wounds from the past. you got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Uh, there's something about goddess wounds, so divine feminine or mother wounds that are being triggered with this person. You don't want to be disrespected. If you are yourself in the divine feminine energy, you don't want some douche food to come in and disrespect your divine feminine energy, you know, uh, whatever that may mean to you through lies, you know, or getting something out of the feminine through you know lies and manipulation and basically violence because that is a kind of violence um so you know what i'm saying like you just don't, don't want that to happen you don't want someone to be duping you in that kind of like low vibrational way you want it to be respectful even if you're looking for a hookup, you want it to be respectable. You want it to be respectful. You want some. You want somebody to respect you. Yeah, I mean, the Terry's saying, take your time making all your decisions, Gemini. It's definitely the right thing to do, you know. Uh, and you don't have to make a decision right now. Even if somebody's pressuring you about, I don't know, putting a label on it or, like, giving them a change. Take your time because you, you got things to work through and that's okay. 
You can be dating people, it's fine. You can be taking your time making a choice. It's also about, this is also about knowing your value and you know making sure that other people, the people that you're vibing with, that they understand your value too, because you're scrumptious. Let's see, where is this leading to? Okay, too many cards. I'm just gonna take all the cards that came out. Awesome. Gemini, like you cannot make this up. Where is this leading to? I'm, I'm, Oh my God, like so much goodness, so much wonderfulness. You got judgment. Okay, number one, somebody could be also returning from the past. So if you got that person here, uh, you know, the one that you weren't sure of, that you were like thinking, well, do they just want to defile the situation? Do they just want to disrespect, um, you know, the, the sacred <laughs> the sacred love or, you know, romantic union or whatever you want to call it, right? That person is returning from the past. Judgment. That's judgment came. You had judgment at the bottom of the deck next to the judgment is the empress. So, you know, same same thing. I think you're you're coming into some kind of a deeper understanding of yourself, of your shadow self, doing shadow work, uh, you know, uh, helping yourself, healing yourself. This is awesome energy. This is the future. The person from the past who wasn't reliable is going to apologize. They're going to give you something um, that they think maybe could fix the situation. But by the time they materialize, uh, if you have a person from the past, and if not, I, this is just showing me that you're going to conquer all those issues, the wounds regarding um, feminine things or mother love or self love here, goddess love. You're going to heal those wounds and you will be reunited with a soulmate from a past life. So this new person, whoever's new, whatever you're working through, the, the options that you have, Somebody's coming in to offer you a lot of stability, the King of Pentacles. Um, and right next to the King is the Queen. So, you know, a divine couple, uh, King, Queen, anyone in between, you know, whatever you vibe as yourself. But this is a divine couple. It may be um, also a pairing. Maybe some, somebody's coming into your life in the next month or so or between now and tourist season. It's not going to be your usual type or it might feel like a bit of an odd couple. But it's a very good pairing for you. So go f f for the new things. Really think about what it is that you want out of relationships, out of people. And go for the thing that you truly want, boo, -boo. Um, There's healing here through this relationship, through this love. There's healing of past wounds. It's a very beautiful pairing. I think those two little boo love each other very much. Even though they're actually very different. Uh, two, <clears throat> could be two very strong personalities. Sorry, baby, I'm just going to take a drink of water. Could be two very strong personalities or two people who are very, very different, but they're going to be vibing with each other like nobody's business. Some kind of difference between you. But at the bottom of the clarification deck, the Six of Cups. So, you know, still be from a past life coming at you, baby. It was worth the wait, is what I would tell you, Gemini. This is your thing. I think we're going to title the video this. It was worth the wait. Healing, the healing was definitely worth the wait. It, you know, it's time to stand up and be counted. And don't, you know, don't get sidetracked. If you're really done with, uh, you know, anything from the past that wasn't good enough for you, don't get sidetracked by that because something much bigger, much better is coming. Bigger fishing wants to be fried on your pan. Okay, that was like totally the wrong metaphor. I don't know, whatever. Whatever, big fishing wants you, all right? Uh, this is what I have for you today, Gemini. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. If you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below together with information about my other magical services such as spell work and coaching. I love you, my baby Gemini. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Give me another kissy, baby. Mm -hmm.